Well, I got my trailer done. <laughs> oh man. Um I'm thinking. I don't think I will buy a new mobile home. I don't think I will. But I've had a couple people talk to me and at least coming up here and looking and see what I would get for my money if I did. This here is and I know a lot of people if I do something like this I'll be bummed because they like the whole renovation thing and I really do too I like building stuff but I gotta seriously sit and think about the costs you know do I want to be in debt again no I really don't but you know I'm not getting any younger I just don't know. So anyway, I thought I'd come up here to one of the local mobile home places and just take a look. Because this is stressing me out quite a bit. I've actually started uh, taking drugs again. Namely, Coca-Cola and carbs. <laughs> I just ate the fattest plate of spaghetti up here at the local restaurant. Because I just, I want to feel better. So I figured spaghetti would make me feel better. And a big ass Coke. That's what I did. So anyway... This right here is a 16 foot wide by 70 foot long. It's 1,023 square foot. This is the first one I looked at. So I thought I'd bring you guys along and show you. Also, this trailer comes with the heater. comes with the actual AC and everything you see here. I mean, it comes partially furnished with furniture too. So here is one decent sized bedroom. It's about the same size as my other one you know, my tool shed bedroom, so. And the ceilings are a lot taller. Uh, I think, I don't know if these are 10 foot ceilings. I don't know. Here is the normal bathroom. Right on, does it have that? No, do I have But you can see, nice tiny sink. Shower kind of looks like the one in mine. And I think this is a spare bedroom. I don't, or is this a master bedroom? No, this is just a regular bedroom. They're pretty plain. And I was kind of talking to the guy. Um, I'd kind of be interested in something a lot shorter. Because you all know I had actually talked about shortening my trailer to like a 40 foot long trailer. He's got a 40 footer, but it's a double wide. And I really don't think I need, it's got my prepper pantry already. You it's so you know what, anyway. Here's where the wash and dryer hook it would be. Quite substantial. Here's the master bedroom. This would be a nice size. What's this? Oh, walk-in closet with a window. Digging it. And here's the master bathroom. Got a nice tub shower combo. This sucker's big. It's almost like a porn tub. <laughs> oh my god, where my mind goes sometimes. So anyway, this is the first one I'm looking at. I'm thinking he said this trailer here. They're, I think they're all going to start in the mid 50s. And the one he's pricing me is this one right here. He's looking at it because they don't have it right now because I keep selling them. This is a 16 by 64 two bedroom. Down here, 30 square feet. And what I'm looking at here is 1,023. So let's go on down and check this one here out. House number five. Oh, yeah. Here's what the outside of this one we just looked at it looks like. Final siding. It's got a 30 year roof on it. Shingles. Okay, let's go to five. I think this is number five. I think it is. I don't see a number. I don't like that little pointy roof. That's probably a deal breaker for me. I'm telling y'all, I get picky when it comes to certain things. Oh 
shit. Excuse my language. I'm trying to get better on the language, guys. Okay. Now I'm digging this. The little angled roofy thing was kind of a letdown. Okay. I like this. I like the colors. I like the wood trim along the bottom, you know, the paneling. I like the wood grain. I like the black refrigerator. I like the island, because you all know I was wanting to do something similar like this with an island. And something similar to that. Okay, I'm feeling it. Definitely feeling this one. Okay, got recessed lighting. Okay. Bathroom. Huh? What's going on here? There's a shower and a door. It's got a walk-through bathroom. Oh, this is laundry room. Okay. I feel you, dog. So this is basically a mud room. Okay. I'm totally getting it. I like that. Keeps the washer and dryer kind of hidden. The washing machine, a nice sink. The only thing that drives me nuts about this kind of stuff here, don't you need to have two sinks, one to wash and one to rinse, you know, to put your dishes in a, another side so you can keep them out of the water? See, that, that's what trips me up about sinks like this. I like the colors. I'm kind of a neutral color guy. I hate that light. I've got some of those in the long house. Here's a bedroom. Decent little size. Closet. And it's got a light in the closet. Digging it. Sorry if I'm walking kind of fast, guys. I'm just kind of in one of the moods. I'm not a long browser of things like get in get out don't take long what could go here like whoops. see stuff like this here doesn't make sense to me i mean i it just don't goodness that's a nice old big bedroom now you know who these curtains remind me of my mom that's something my mom would do <laughs> so Nice little walk-in closet right here. And what's this? Main water shadow. Okay. Let's go over here to the master bathroom. Good Lord. Now this is a porn shower. This is a pornographer all day. Good Lord. How many people you want to get in this thing? Me, Jamie, the cat, and about 17 hot girls could get in this shower. <laughs> Holy crap. What are, you, what are you going to do with that? Really? I don't... <laughs> wow. See, to me, like, this is just a waste of space. Do you need it? When has a man ever needed all that drawer space in a bathroom? I'm not that good looking to even have two mirrors. Hey, I mean, I, and it's got this toilet over here, all kind of lonely, blocked off by the world. Dude, oh shit! See, I did it again. Sorry for the language. Do you have that? I mean, I can see where you put toll trees and towels and stuff. I get that. I don't get that. Like, I don't get it. Anyways, that's me. But I, I really enjoy this. This is good, okay? Would I put a TV right here? No, this isn't my TV spot. I don't think. 
you know, the living room is nice. I'm digging it. It could be better, but I like the colors. I like the feel. I like the layout. Let's go on to the next one. So now I'm going over here to look at double wides. The only reason why I'm interested in double wides is because they're shorter. I really don't want to get into something 60 foot long. Again. Okay, this one here is 28 wide by 48. And it's 1,173 square feet. Now this one hasn't been finished yet. They're in the process of putting it together. But, you know, you kind of get an idea. I dig the living room layout. I dig the kitchen. It just makes sense. Got to be careful. I don't mess nobody's work up. Yeah, I like the kitchen. Got the island. I like the colors. This right here looks like the laundry room slash mud room. I like it. It's nice and big. Got room to do stuff. All the utilities like the you know the heat pump or the AC whatever fuse box. This right here makes sense. I like that layout. Let's walk on down here. Is this a master bedroom? I think so. Sorry guys, I'm not trying to mess your work up. So master bathroom. Layout makes sense. I don't understand what's going on here unless it's made on purpose to be handicap accessible. What, what would that be? Okay, so you can actually see the carpet and how they do it. There's the carpet and there's the pad and then the floor. I don't know what kind of carpet they're using. Let's see if it tells me. Nope. Just, I guess probably just cheap old carpet. Now, all these homes are Fleetwood homes. Just like my old trailer is a Fleetwood home also. And it was funny when I was talking to the guy, I was telling him about my trailer. He knew exactly the model I was talking about. He's like, dude, you've got a vintage trailer. Like a lot of people want that trailer. I'm like, I don't know if a lot of people want mine, but if they actually want it. That's good. So I'm going to walk around that. I don't want to step on anybody's work, mess up any type of material. And my shoes are clean. So here's, the, I guess you call it a guest bathroom. Pretty nice. It's, you know, nice size bathroom. Here is a guest bedroom, I guess. Like the floor, like the walls, nice size closet. I don't think anybody would complain about that. See, this layout here just makes more sense to me. And here's another bedroom. It's the way it should be. It's simple. It makes sense. You got a nice living room right at the front. You walk straight into the kitchen. You know, got a nice window. The only thing that I don't see that I could probably do here is a fireplace. I could maybe do a fireplace on that wall. I'd have to, you know, yeah, I think a fireplace would work. Well, where would I put my TV? I guess if I ever got a TV, it'd be on this wall. So, yeah, that would work. Layups, just right. That's a double wide. Double wides are probably going to be close to 70. And that's just redonkulous. I do like the countertop though. I like the whole layout. The whole thing just makes sense. Okay. I want to go see this one directly across from me. It's got this nifty porch. I'm feeling it. So, here we go. It's got a nice little deck on it. I like the green color. I like the trim. I like the dark brown. I like it a lot. I just don't want to pay for it. That's my only problem. I mean, it's not a big deck, but you can hang out on it. Or I guess maybe make it a wraparound later. A 
don't know. So look, let's look at the paper. What's this one? This one here, I think, is. Uh, um, I'm gonna say it's this one right here, number 21. 32 foot wide by 62 foot long, 1551 square foot. So let's see what she's got going on. Oh goodness. And it's already got an electric fireplace. Man, I knew I should have done this. That's kind of ghetto. It looks like a metal panel door, but it's not. It's that's pretty good effect though. It looks real, but it's not. It's all flat. Okay. I'm digging it. Big couch, big TV, got the fireplace, electricity goes off, but your fireplace don't work. That's kind of dumb. Now, you see here where they've got the faux uh corrugated metal it looks good but I think you could make that a real metal front I like the corner window here that would be nice look at this island this island let's just show you that's how long the island is that's an awesome way to measure isn't it this sucker is lengthy a nice stove, nice cabinets, nice vent. Sink makes sense. You got a wash and a rinse. Got a dishwasher. All kinds of storage space. Totally, totally good. I guess this is a mudroom. Yeah, mudroom. Wash, or and dryer. Fuse panel. Down here could be a back deck. Totally makes sense. I like the plug on the island. I like how you got plenty of space to push in bar stools. This right here is probably the pantry. Yep, nice size pantry. Refrigerator looks good. See? The Fleetwood. What's over here? Nice little closet. Man, look at this double wide hallway. Good night. I can ride a four-wheeler down this hallway. Bucket list thing to do here. Oh, we ain't going in that room. That room scares me. Man, this is a nice, just a nice bedroom. I like the colors. I like the trim. It's neutral. It's simple. It's clean. Functional. That bedroom scares me. And this is a guest bathroom. How nice is this? I bet this trailer here is a hundred grand. I like the sink. You got countertop. You got a nice cabinet. And I'm not the best trailer reviewer guy. I'm just, you know, bringing you guys along. This right here is kind of cute. That's something else my mom would have done. Uh, what's in here? Another bedroom. This is nice. I like it. I like the big fat windows. The nice closet space. <sighs> Man, I don't want to go in here. This is just... Either this is really going to disappoint me, or this is going to be like, i got to have this one. Are you ready? Ready? Big bedroom. Look at this walk-in closet. Get out of town, man. I mean, I don't... I, I could put everything in my trailer in this closet. And look at this bathroom. Another pornographer's tub or shower. Really? <laughs> really? I mean... Look at that faucet. Okay, I don't even know how this trailer would be oriented now that I'm looking at it. This, I think this would be looking at my heel, like towards the neighbors. So here I'm taking a bath right in front of the neighbors. This right here, I mean, I, 
I don't get it. But you do have a private Ferguson here with a nice little window. Like, okay, I need some privacy. Everybody get the hell out. Shut the door. And you can poop in private. That's a plus, but to me, they just do too much for the bathrooms. Now, I do like these sliding doors. This is kind of like what I was talking about doing for my main door in my bathroom. One of these sliding doors. That's cool. All right. I mean, I like it. This right here is pretty damn cheap. They haven't put covers on it yet, but this, I, I don't get that. I mean, it's a tub, yeah, but think about it. If you want to get in this tub, you got to really lift your leg over to get in it. And if you got hip flexor muscle issues like I do every once in a while, that's going to suck. I, that would be good to wash Jamie in. You know, that, I, I get that. That would work. But this is, I mean, it's functional. It's a shower. It works. But why do you got to put, you could put, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I bet you could put eight people in that shower at one time. But I do like this one the most. It just makes sense. I guess I could just never use the bathroom in the main bedroom. This right here is just perfect. This is what you need in a bathroom. That's perfect. Oh, that's just, if you got girls coming over, or a girl, this kind of bougie, that will tickle her bougie button, I think. But this right here is nice. I'm feeling this. I like this a lot. But like I said, I guarantee you this trailer here is probably 100, 100 grand. I'm going to say 100 grand to most. Well, hold up. Let's say 110. That's where I'm at. Lock it back up. Okay, this one here is number seven. It is 1,279 square foot. That one we just looked at, it's got sale pending. But I'm so curious to see how much it is. Why do they all smell different when you open the door? Okay. This ain't too bad. I'm not a fan of the decor. That cat's dumb. <laughs> oh, screw it. I'm digging the kitchen. I like it. This is too bougie. Um, can I get the stove? The sink's dumb. It's a one basin sink. This one's on sale, I think. Here we go. Another pornographer's tub or shower. This is the uh, mud room. What? Oh, where's the kitchen? I don't know if I like that. At least it didn't have a horrible tub in it. But, you know, I can, this is not a bad bathroom. It's not bugged. Big closet. I know I'm going fast, guys. Yeah, I won't have a place that's got one big old kitchen sink. The carpet's nice looking. I like it. It's gonna be a long video. Hope y'all like it. Just seeing. I'm just like I said, I'm just looking. This bathroom makes sense. They even give you toiletries in this one. I know it's just for looks, just for show, to make it feel like home. Yeah, this one really don't impress me now. Next. Okay, let's go look at number 17, the boss. I think it's the biggest one that got. It's a 2,280 square foot. So far you're winning except for your stupid tub. Wait, here's another single wide. This is 16 by 80. It's 1100 square foot. Cell pending, but I'm gonna look at it anyway. As soon as I walk in the door, first impression is no. Nope, don't like it, that's dumb. Reminds me of a diner. Yeah, I don't even wanna look at this one. That's dumb. 
Sorry, dumb. Okay, on to the boss. Here's the boss. I don't know, the boss kind of looks like a normal worker to me. I think the boss would be a little bit cooler looking on the outside. Okay. Just now walked in. I don't know, guys. I'm not really impressed. Man, it's a, it's a huge bathroom. Again, barn door for the bathroom. Another pornographer's tub. Looks like somebody's already been naked. Look at this big old wall. Big old cat. I mean, do you really need? I mean, that right there to me is just a waste. Eighteen person shower again. Private bathroom. And a master walk-in closet. You know how big my closet needs to be? Probably half the size of a normal refrigerator. That could be another bedroom. I like seeing myself in front of all these mirrors. It makes me look really fat. Okay. Um, I don't like the round mirrors. They're dumb. This is, it's not bad, but it's just too much. Then you got this massive, I guess this is a second living room. Bedroom. Second living room. I mean, you, this could be <clears throat> a two-family home. So here's the laundry room. You could make this a, another kitchen. This is the kind of stuff I can't, I don't understand. You know, nice little bathroom. Or not bathroom, bedroom. Here it is. A normal, nice bathroom. This is nice. This is, you know, nice, normal. To me, right here, this is the perfect size bathroom you got plenty of counter space got a nice little sink nice little toilet a shower and tub combo that just makes sense natural light a nice normal mirror plenty of built-in counter space and your handicap accessible this is the way you should do a bathroom this is just for bougie people that try to impress more people and they have friends that's all it is okay i hope you guys like my mobile home tour it's pretty exciting and in depth and honest <laughs> so if y'all like this video if you want more trailer review videos that just come off like you really don't care let me know and i'll be more than happy to make you a bunch because i do like looking at stuff it's pretty cool so see you guys later